I just wanted to let you know that apparently nearly 60% of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed to my channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 100K. It's free, and you can always change your mind whenever you want. And if you don't subscribe, then um, I'm going to tell Batman that you have been using water cups to get free soda. We'll see how that turns out for you. Enjoy the video. <laughs> oh, good morning, sleepyhead. How'd you sleep? Oh, that's really good to hear. I'm glad that you had a good night's rest. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't another one of your dreams. It's better, actually. It's reality. Where do you think you're at? You're in my room, dingus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, porky pig. I can't understand a word you're saying. One question at a time. Okay, take a breath. Breathe in. And out. One more time. Breathe in. And out. All right, you feel a little better? Okay. Now, to answer your question on where you're at, to give you a full answer, you are at my apartment, and you are asleep in my... Well, you were asleep in my bed, and... Oh, oh your clothes? I put them in the washer. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 before you panic, I just want to let you know that I made sure to check the material and see what was safe for the washer and what wasn't safe, and I made sure to take the proper precautions so your clothes are going to come out just fine. Of course, it's the least I could do. What happened last night? <laughs> I mean, do you want the TLDR or do you want the full story? Okay, you know what? Knowing you, you're the one who has an A-plus in English arts, and you're probably going to want the whole story. So, allow me to indulge you on that. So, yesterday, we finished our exams. We were organizing it so that we could make Professor Marston's job a little easier, and for extra credit. I found out that you had a crush on me, even though I knew for quite a while. I just wanted to tease you. Um, so, we kissed, and we made out a little bit, and then... We decided that it wasn't a good idea to do so in the, you know, college campus. So we decided to finish up organizing the papers, and then we were on our way. We um, came to my place, which was here, and we hung out for a bit, had a couple of drinks, and then one thing led to another, and then we... I, uh... I guess you could say it was one of your fantasies fulfilled. We got busy, as you can say. Very busy. So much so that you ended up passing out from exhaustion, as did I. And then I woke up about an hour before you did, and by the way, you are a heavy sleeper. Like, I don't know how, but just so you know, I slipped and fell right there. I slipped because I was wearing only one sock and I had the bright idea, the greatest idea, to take a step off of my bed on the sock-covered foot, and I slipped. Surprisingly, you were still fast asleep after that. I am not clumsy. Look, so what? So what? You're the one who always falls up the stairs somehow. Yeah, Julius told me those stories as well. How does someone fall up the stairs? Yeah, I'm honestly, I honestly don't believe that you did that on purpose. I'm going to need to see that to believe that. But, um, so, yeah, that's, um, pretty much what happened. And the TLDR is you and I found out we liked each other, and we kissed, and then got busy. And that's why you are the way you are in my bed right now. But that's okay. Because I am here to make sure you're feeling all right. Which, by the way, are you feeling okay? Like, does your head hurt at all? Because you drank a good bit last night. Head hurts a little bit? 
that's okay. Um, doesn't seem like it's a, it's a hangover. If it is, it doesn't seem that bad. Because I can already tell that you don't seem too sick. But just to be safe, I brought a couple of things that I think would help out with that. So, obviously, I got you some bottle of water. And I also got you some toast. Bland food can actually help with boosting your blood sugar and helping out with your stomach. I, um, I also have some bouillon soup in my cabinet, so if you still feel icky, I can warm that up for you. And I also have some pain relievers, just in case. If it gets worse, pain relievers are right here. You didn't have too much to drink. You had, like, I think three beers, and you, um, you then started getting crazy and stuff. I mean, like, you were dancing all around. You were doing cartwheels. Uh, you almost hit my ceiling fan, so thank God you didn't. I would not have been as happy last night if you had done that. Uh, yeah, so you did drink quite a bit, but you were still there. It was still you, but I'll tell you this much. It wasn't entirely you there. <laughs> I mean, someone was there, but it wasn't entirely you. <laughs> Because I, I, I can prove that. What happened last night, one thing that happened, is I told you to focus on, like, the tip of this pen that I was holding for some reason. Told you to, like, follow it with your eyes, right? I moved it to the left once. You didn't even move. You didn't, you didn't move once. You were just dead center. You were staring straight at me. Though, to be fair, I'm pretty sure you were more focused on me because after I moved that pen... We immediately got into round four. Yeah. But hey, hey, here. I, um, got you a towel. You're a little sweaty, so here you go. Matter of fact, here. I'll, uh, dry you off. <laughs> oh. You look so adorable, by the way. Like, you look so freaking cute. Hey, um, your clothes are gonna be a bit until they're fully clean, so... Would you, uh, like to cuddle? <laughs> Come here. This is nice, honestly. Christmas break is here. We, we got a full two weeks to ourselves. We got Christmas and New Year's to celebrate together. Oh, and hey, if you if you need any clothes to put on, I can give you some of my clothes. They're a little big, but I'm pretty sure you would never complain in a million years. Actually, knowing you, the moment I give you one of my hoodies, it's immediately going to become yours. I'm okay with that. I have, like, a thousand other ones. In a bit? You want to stay like this for a little longer? Honestly, me too. This is honestly really nice. Like... Very nice, actually. It's really comfortable, and your body is so warm. <laughs> hey, um, I, I did want to at least talk with you about something, if that's okay. Okay, so let's address the elephant in the room here. We wasted absolutely no time. <laughs> Like, the minute you and I found out we liked each other, we just said, hey, let's go back to my place and fuck. <laughs> but we moved way too fast. Like, way too fast. I haven't even bought you dinner yet, and we've already done it. Now, don't get me wrong, though. Don't get me wrong. I had so much fun last night. It was fan-fucking-tastic. And you looked so fucking beautiful last night. Matter of fact, you look so breathtaking right now. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if I'm dreaming because no way someone as beautiful as you is sitting before me. Come here, you. Oh my god, I love you. Holy crap, that's that's the first time I've ever said that to you. <laughs> Which actually brings me to the next point I was going to bring up to you. I would love to do this with you again, but 
I want our next time to be a romantic and intimate moment for us. No, I, I wouldn't really call what we did last night as that. I'd call it more of a drunken one-night stand, because that's pretty much what it was. I want the next time to be a loving and relaxing experience for us. And we can only achieve that by taking some time to get to know each other more before we try again. We've known each other for a couple of months now, and our hangouts mainly consist of us either walking through the halls, eating at lunch, or talking in the classroom whenever we need to do some group projects. And that's pretty much it. We don't really do a lot outside of campus. So I think it's time that we change that. Let's take a couple of weeks to get to know each other, learn about things that we do in our lives, go out on a date, or play some video games. Go out to eat, watch a movie, go for a walk, go swimming in the indoor pool because it's freaking cold as balls out there. And maybe just laying in bed together and cuddling while watching whatever comes to our mind. Anything that can allow us to bond. And then after we've bonded enough, we can go for it. Take it nice and slow. A soft and sensual moment. But of course, if you want to change up the pace, you can let me know and we can definitely do that. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Does that sound like a great idea? It's a date then. <laughs> Gosh, your smile is so precious, baby girl. Come here. <laughs> you know, I already know what the second time's going to include. I have an idea of a couple of things we can add. Scented candles, some roses, maybe a nice bubble bath for us to bathe in, some nice music. Don't worry, Seabat is not ever going to touch that playlist. Dear God. Oh my God. Prayers for that woman for having to put up with that for two years. Jesus. But trust me, I will never put that song in that playlist. I love you too. Hey, do you um need me to scratch her back for you? Okay, go ahead and turn around. Okay. Right here? Alright. Got it. Right here? Alright. Alright, you good? Goody. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need my back scratched. And matter of fact, I think you did more than enough last night. Girl, you dug your fingernails into my skin so many times, I think you got every place that you could reach. Including my buttocks. Owie. Nah, it's alright. You were, you were, you were pretty drunk and you were having a lot of fun, so can't really blame you. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I just noticed this. I think it might be a good idea for you to start wearing a scarf for the next few days because... I think I gave you a hickey. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I... 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 It's okay? Are you, are, are you sure? Okay, yeah, tr true. We're on Christmas break. Not a lot of people are going to notice. The only one who's really noticed so far is me, and I'm the one who gave it to you. <laughs> hey, if you want, you're free to spend the day here. I don't mind. Honestly, I could use the company. It's kind of lonely here. Sweet! Alright, so I was thinking that for dinner tonight, we could order some pizza. I'm honestly not really in the mood to go out today. I just want to stay home. I have been so stressed out with studying so much, and I just want to relax. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you and I are in the same boat. Oh, and we also need to get cleaned up, because we are sweating, we stink, and I also got to clean these bed sheets because they look nasty. Oh, you want us to take a shower together? That sounds like a great idea. It'll... It'll definitely be a romantic moment. We'll be able to appreciate each other's bodies. And it's also convenient because it will save me some water. And you're in luck. That shower is big enough to hold two people. 
I'll go get the towels, and I'll also get your clothes out of the dryer, because I think it's done. So you go on ahead and get the shower running. It's pretty easy to understand. And if you can't figure out how to operate it, which I would be surprised if you don't know how to, I can easily set it up for us. All right. I'll uh, see you in a bit, honey bunny. Love you. <laughs> 